A Topeka woman's ex-boyfriend tried to kill her, and now she's sharing the horrifying details. It's a story you'll only see on KSNT News. KSNT News reporter Kelly Severi is live in downtown Topeka to tell us how prosecutors are honoring the woman tonight. Kelly? Brooke and Jace, the district attorney here at the courthouse, is recognizing Stacy Miner for her bravery. After being attacked, the Topeka woman had to learn how to rewalk, talk, and write again. And she had to undergo multiple reconstructive surgeries to her face after it being crushed after the attack. Stacy Miner and her kids live in fear. Every beating was worse, every fight was worse until he, literally he tried to kill me. That's because her ex-boyfriend and father of her kids brutally attacked her, nearly killing her on impact. He strangled, was strangling me unconscious, and then I woke up in the hospital. She needed facial reconstruction surgery. Now half of her face is made of metal. I had his shoe prints on my face. With permanent brain damage, she's considered disabled and can't get a job. I'm not reli reliable. I, you know, I, I have like spells where I'll just get dizzy and black out and, you know, can't walk. Like I just lose all of my motor functions. District Attorney Mike Kage prosecuted her attacker, Joseph Hughes. She needed a walker just to get up to the witness stand to testify. I remember, you know, kind of holding her arm and, and trying to help her as she walked up uh, to the uh, to the witness stand. It was a really compelling uh, case. Now he's recognizing Miner for her bravery by awarding her with a challenge coin, usually reserved for law enforcement and first responders. For the first time, KG gave the coin to a victim. There's really nobody, um, you know, really no one that deserves that kind of recognition more than Survivors. And as Minor tries to move past the attack four years ago, she's thankful the justice system is recognizing her fight. It's so easy to forget where I, how far I've came. We checked prison records, and the man who tried to kill Minor will be in prison for at least five more years. Live in downtown Topeka, Kelly Saberi, KSNT News. A powerful story. Thank you, Kelly. And if you are dealing with a similar situation, Minor recommends reaching out to groups like the YWCA. And for more information on where to get help, we've posted a list of resources at KSNT.com.